guys, it's Tammy. I uh, hope to find everybody doing well. We're doing well. We've been pretty busy. For me, myself, I've been busy. I make a lot of my Christmas presents and stuff like that. So I've been really busy getting a lot of those things done uh, in the past couple weeks. Um, today, I actually would like to show you a few things that may or may not bring back some memories for some of you as well as also give you some of you some ideas of simple things that you can do for your kids or grandkids, either one, for Christmas or just any day of the year. Um, a lot of times I think Christmas can feel overburdened when it comes to gifts and stuff. And I like to just show people there's some simple things that you can do that will be very memorable things for kids. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it yourself. So I want to get on with what we're going to do today, a couple of little projects. And I plan on doing some more in the near next week or two just to throw some things out there for you guys okay guys as you see here i have got me a toy i've actually got a couple of them you can get more they're better if they're green because they'll just hold up better this one i made a little bit large but you can always trim it down if you want to but it just needs to have a v in it and something to hold on to like a handle. Now I've already got one of these tied for the sake of time and I took this, there was this huge rubber band that uh, came on something, I don't even know what it came on and I've cut it to certain lengths and I'm tying it close to the end of my stick. Definitely tie it in a knot. Leaving as much room this way as you can. Now I have took a piece. Now with my, I made my nephew one not long ago, and I made his with a piece of fake leather. And generally that's what I would use. But I wanted to show you guys how you can take this. Here is just some polyester material, and you know polyester when you cut it, it don't unravel. So you can take some polyester material, and I actually doubled this. I made two layers just for durability. And I'm going to take the end of it and fold it just a little bit. Cut a slit in it. Don't have to be a very big slit because, as anybody probably knows, polyester stretches anyway. Do both sides of that like that. And, you know, these are simple toys. I'm not trying to make something extravagant and make everybody feel like they've got to. I want to show you some simple things that you can make. Now, if you can see that, I hope you can. I've cut hole in both ends. Now, I'll simply take my rubber band, put it through there, and tie another knot in it. And like I said before, get it close to the end. Now I also suggest, I thought I got my string too short, I believe, on this one. I it was just cutting them as I went, but I was trying to save some time here, but anyway. And then, we'll go with the other side. And there you have a slingshot. You want to try to make sure that you both of your lengths in between are about the same. So you can have plenty to pull on. And then I suggest though, just because I know how my grandkids are, that you let them start out with something like a, I tell you what works really good, is aluminum foil. Make a ball out of aluminum foil and let them learn to shoot it with that. Or if they're doing it in the house, use paper wads. Or something like that. But then when they're outside, they could use, you know, rocks or what have you. And teach them how to be safe in doing it. Okay, guys, I wanted to tell you, though, I like this rubber band because it's a big, thick, firmer rubber band. And that's why I used it. But generally, I use those packets of rubber bands those manila colored rubber bands that are pretty thick 
and I use one on one side and one on the other side and that way you can just loop it around it and it, it has a firmer hold to me oh, it does which this goes, one seems guys. to be holding okay well and everything. Slingshot. but I just wanted to share Nothing that major. just so you wouldn't have to worry about trying to find that thick of a rubber time. band you simply put your thing in there like that clamp down on it on both sides pull back and knock down some giants so there's a simple little thing that you can do for your kids or your grandkids that is to me much better than any kind of video game there is out there all right guys now this is something that i absolutely loved 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 as a little girl we used to get and i know many of you remember this the big, big thick wish book from sears or from jc penny's either one usually sears is what ours was i would adore going through that book and this is actually not as good of pages as i would like but i know you know what i'm talking about no that one ain't got nothing but let's take this for example we've got here A Christmas tree and a fireplace and stockings and all that. Now, as a little girl, I would cut this whole scene out. There's that. Say that. There may be something else on there. Now, look what we got here. We got a Christmas tree, we got our fireplace and our stockings, and there's a little chair. Hmm, a chair. Well, let's see. What else we got in there? And you know, this really helps a kid's imagination as well. So, I think that is great in itself. Well, there's two girls sitting down, but I think I like this one. See that girl there? She's sitting down. Well, let's just cut her out. For the sake of time, I'm going to do a rough cutting out. But this is also good motor skills for children when it comes to kids learning to cut. It keeps them occupied. It really stirs their brain. It uses their imagination and all those things. And this is just a really fun thing to do with your grandkids or your kids, either one. So I'm doing a rough cut out on here. Forgive my cutting skills at the moment. Now, she's sitting on the chair. We'll imagine she's sitting on the chair beside the fireplace with all that. Now, I would, with the, with the Sears book, you usually had the whole bodies of the people on them. And you could cut, I would cut out the whole people. Here's luggage. You could cut out some luggage. Pretend like they're going on a trip to grandmother's house for Christmas. Uh, you could, for that matter, for this in here, there's these two ladies sitting in there. And they've got shoes on. Well, all these shoes over here are about the same size. So you could cut those shoes out and put them on there. And even do this, guys. I know y'all remember one of my favorite toys growing up was paper dolls. And I, you still can get them. I love the gingham dolls. Those were my favorites. And we would use the gingham dolls to make toys. Now, I want to show you what I'm doing here. Y'all remember with those little dolls how you had the little tab sticking out? Well, guess what you can do? Just cut you out some little tabs on these clothes whenever you find a doll that the clothes is roughly the size that the girl is. Now, see, if I had her cut out, instead of these white boots that she's got on, which that one's turned around backwards, but I could simply put that over top of her boot. And that would be cool. So, save those catalogs. The kids is going to make a mess with this, guys. A real mess. There's pocket books, which those are too big for this particular doll I got here. I like this one. I thought about that Santa Claus there. I want to save these for my granddaughter. And when she comes over, that's what we do is things like this. She can cut out the little Santa Claus and set him beside the tree. She could cut out, they've got the boxes of candy and stuff for sale on this that she could cut out and pretend like her gifts. There's a Coke. She could cut that out. 
just all kinds of different things. So guys, these are really fun little things that really help your kids' minds to, to work uh, and just have fun with. So I want to encourage you guys to dig in. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's kind of little silly things that uh, I showed you today, but I like them. I think they're cool little things to teach kids about, and uh, it's just fun to me, it is, anyway. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments on this, and uh, see if you're interested in me sharing some more things similar to this with you guys to uh, just inspire you and help you dream up things about Christmas past and uh, give you ideas maybe for Christmas now. Anyway, God bless you guys. I appreciate you guys a great deal. Talk to you later. Bye.